So we got the Evo Ari inside the garage. We're gonna remove these seats right now. I kind of took some stuff out already. Probably vacuum a little, little bit because they got a little dusty. But we're gonna remove this seat. Just should pop out with clips and check the fuel pump. Or the gas tank. So we're gonna take out the fuel pump and see how the E85 is in there. Hopefully it's not rusted. And if it's not, we're just going to drain all the E85. Should have two bolts to drain it from the back. So we're going to do that. And we're probably going to install the crash bar or the tow hinge, the cross member that goes right here. I removed it when I took off the motor and transmission and transfer case made it easier. Um, so I'm going to put it back on just in case I have to move it back in here. I could just hook it up, pull it with the truck, and just have my girl steer it. Uh, I have to ask for help today just to push it back in here. So I don't want to be asking people for help when I need to move it. So let's get started. So we are going to check uh, how much fuel we have. Bat uh, motor's already out, so the battery's out. It's over there. Hopefully it's not dead. I'm gonna plug it in to get some power inside and check if it has fuel. If it's full, then most likely I'm not gonna drain it, but the odds of it being a full tank on E85 are very slim because I was doing a couple of pulls when I was bagging gears. So the reason why if it's full, um, there's not that much air, so it doesn't cook create rust so yeah most likely i do have to drain it either way um as e is already bad so it has to be drained no matter what so battery was dead i had to use the jumper real quick and mono is true how much gas did we have it's been a while. Yeah, less than half a tank. So yeah, we're gonna drain the whole system. Hopefully it's not rusted. So there it is, seats are off. And we got a little cover for the sound dampener. Um, so yeah, I gotta clean this. I don't know what is that from, but I need to clean these seats. Um, so this is how it looks. On these, you just pull out a little bit so you can unhook it. Now we gotta take out these four Phillips right here to get access to the fuel pump. There is another one over there. So yeah, this tank is weird. It has like a double, double, layer i guess so it has baffle right here another baffle over there and it's all linked together so So I already took off the clips. They're fairly easy. Actually, these you just gotta um, push it in, both of them right here, and it got in clips. Uh, and just pull it out. So you just gotta squeeze it and pull out. This one was more of a pain in the butt. And yeah, these are size. These are actually size eight, which I'm gonna get out real quick, and we'll find out the moment of truth. So took the pump out and put it in the bag already. So this is how 
my tank sits you can see some of it right there a lot of dirt right there a little bit in that corner over here and a little bit over here so i think that's all i see right now so i am gonna drain it i am gonna clean this so time to race this car and actually oh, we're gonna race drain it? It? yeah where are we where, 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 where are we going? Race. Raised. Raise? Oh, raise it up. So Car is already in jack stands, and we're gonna remove that bolt right there. So, and probably take some of these spider webs that's on here. Don't so. let them lie to you guys. The car's been on jack stands for like almost an hour. We've been talking a lot. Mark, don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Watch it be an 11 or a 13, a stupid ass number. I hate that bullshit with like a retarded number, like a 13 or 11. No, that's actually 12. 12. You think that little ass container is gonna catch all your E85? Yes. I got two of them. <laughs> and, um. What's it called? It's you split. You might as well do this in the fucking dirt. We're gonna just like fall to the dirt and leave it there. It's split though. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some wood to burn. I'm throwing the barbecue because I want to fucking do this. So that one is draining right now. We're going to leave it. We're going to start doing the other side. We have these other two oil pans that we use. Um, we actually fill the old E85 on this methanol tank that Mark had right now. So Michael, if you want some of the world's finest E85, it's probably like E6 right now, but it was E85 two years ago, still good. Hey, you could use it on, on, uh, on the lawnmowers. <laughs> <laughs> on you the wanna pressure washer. Hey. It says E10 only. <laughs> hey. It's around there somewhere. It's right out. Let's see what works. Yeah, so we're gonna take out the other ones while we do these two right now, and hopefully we don't fill up that. If not, we probably gonna buy another um, tank. I need one. Save it though. No. So that side is already drained. Uh, this side is almost drained, but we still got some a little bit of E85. And since it's dirty right there, I'm just gonna use a rag, clean all that up real quick, and then put everything back together, fill it up with gas and some additive to store it. Cause it's pretty much gonna sit for say another six more months before it gets up and running. Supposedly. So everything's cleaned already. It's kind of hard because there's not that much light up here, but I cleaned it up already. Um, putting every back, putting everything back together, and then probably gonna go buy that jug, a five gallon, fit it up with gas, put that additive, and um, put that tow hook in the front, and let it sit until it gets built. So evil contents coming up real quick. So I've already done everything over here. So I just gotta put the seat back in here and that's it in the back. Then we're gonna work on putting the cross member over there. 
Uh, so I am gonna put those. I'm not sure if I'm gonna clean it up a little bit because there's a bunch of like leaves and stuff like that, dirt. Car hasn't been washed in two years, so. So we bought meth. Meth is for pussies. Nitro meth for pussies. <laughs> Methanol for All right, and then we bought a jug for the it's actually gonna be for the evil right now, but uh, we're gonna put gas right now. Oh, my dog. Oh, he's limping. <laughs> so that's gonna be for the evil, but right now we're gonna fill it up with gas and fill it up the whole tank with gas. So I'm probably gonna need two of these. Um, and then we're probably gonna use this for the business right now. Just fill it up with gas until I actually need it on my evil and we'll buy a red one for the business. So, first tank. I want all you to know when this motherfucker said, oh, we're gonna do it right now. It's been fucking like three days later. So, I went to Home Depot and actually bought this uh, fuel stabilizer. Stabilizer. Uh, what's it called? So, for every ounce, uh, this ounce is for- Two and a half gallons. Yep, two and a half gallons. So, we already put about six gallons in there. Give or take. I'm gonna put another six right here. So we're gonna put what? Five ounces? Ah, uh, give or take. Yep. Plus or minus. Around there. And hopefully it fills it up. If not, we gotta get more Go gas. Ahead. And put more of this. So all of it, all of it. No bitch. So let's check how much fuel I have. Stealing you. So, yeah, let's see how much fuel I have. Let's see if I have to go run some more. It should have like 12 gallons or 10. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more. I'm at a quarter, uh, three quarters. So, I'm gonna go get another jug and put some more stabilizer and We'll see how it goes now. Time to get the last five gallons of fuel. Sup, Corolla? It's already filled up already. Let's double check it. Should have a full tank now. So 
This car should be able to sit for another six more months. Hell yeah, full tank. So, has some stabilizer, so should be good. So that's it guys. Evo is done as far as the fuel system. I'm not gonna get no rust on the tank. Has a full tank of gas right now, so it's not gonna rust anytime soon. But you're gonna see Evo content coming up real quick. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'm out.